Good morning traders. This is Yagub Ibrahimov joining for a to z forexcom and today is the 23rd of February 2017. Yesterday we analyzed the market uh, for euro dollar overall and we gave basically the signals that the market is likely or was likely to reverse from the 1.0490 to 1.0510 level and indeed this this is what the market did. We had the lowest low of the market yesterday being at the level of 1.0493 and from there onwards we we saw uh, thanks to fundamentals the market jumping up uh, some 80 pips and today uh, the biggest question is what can we expect from the euro dollar well uh, i'm not going to be talking much about the the fundamentals but it will be mostly technical uh, today so from technical perspective what i can see is that uh, the market is is moving according to my head and shoulder formation on daily time frame and on daily time frame uh, we can we could see that the, the the right shoulder this is an inverse head and shoulder by the way the right shoulder was indeed falling right onto the 88 percent Fibonacci retracement zone as well uh, so that being said uh, at the moment we are going to be looking for the market to to move from this level onwards and if we look into the the pair from uh, hourly time frame which we are looking at it now we can see there is another head and shoulder formation uh, even on hourly time frame as well and this is uh, this appears to be more or less the the shoulder line so talking of it we can expect a more bu uh, bullish development today if you are going to be longing the uh, the pair you should be longing it from uh, 1.05 40 level uh, your stop loss definitely needs to be just below the 1.0490 level so it's more or less uh, some let's say 40 45 pips stop loss and from take profit perspective from short term viewpoint i'll be looking for 1.0620 and then uh, to 1.0670 level however the long uh, term perspective i am looking for the euro dollar to rise up to 1.09 level now let's move on to USD Canadian dollar on weekly time frame I told uh, last week uh, well actually on Monday it was uh, to take a look at the pair and and tell me what uh, what people saw so this is the thing that I'm gonna be uh, sh showing one more time if you can see this candle on weekly time frame right over here this is for me what I call a sword candlestick formation and it was a bullish candlestick development uh, for this week so from that perspective we did have a uh, bullish development the daily time frame uh, development we also had uh, on on the 16th of february uh, another sword candle formation over here this is the one that i'm talking about so from there onwards we had a uh, more or less bullish development we have meanwhile a strong uh, resistance line at the 88 percent fibonacci retracement zone this is custom fibonacci retracement zone custom fibonacci wave level so uh, it also falls on to 1.3190 level uh, meanwhile the biggest and the most significant resistance that I see is right on this candlestick uh, over here which is at uh, 1.3313 uh, level so until that level is achieved I'm gonna be keeping my bullish uh, vision onwards and uh, I believe for today and uh, maybe possibly even tomorrow we should be looking for more bullish opportunities from the level of 1.0 1 1.1398 uh, well let's say 1.3100 level and uh, if you are going to be entering such position you need to make sure that your stop loss is definitely below 1.3050 level while your target take profit target it first should be at 1.3190 and the second target should remain towards uh, 1.3265 level that's for USD Canadian dollar and remember uh, Canadian dollar has much dependency on the crude oil therefore you also need to follow what's happening from the crude oil perspective in, in fundamental development moving on to USD Japanese yen the pair has been moving on a on, on a sideway development there is a wedge development I can see over here uh, very fast let's let's just put it forward uh, this is the one that I'm talking about so this is uh, going to be the the biggest uh, technical development for for me personally you can also bring it a little downwards over here 
So uh, we need to see a breakout either upwards or downwards. Uh, I believe there is, uh, there is a potential on upwards breakout. So nonetheless, you need to look for a breakout above 113.60 level if you want to enter bullish and below 112.95 level to consider bearish uh, levels. I'm going to be just zooming a little out. So the, I'm going to be targeting for bearish level at uh, 112.05. This is going to be our bearish uh, target if you enter bearish. Meanwhile, if you enter bullish, your target should remain initially towards 114.40 uh, level, which is uh, at uh, my negative 10% uh, custom Fibonacci retracement zone. Last point that we are going to be looking into, I haven't analyzed it yet, but nonetheless, because of too many requests, we are going to be covering the gold. Gold, uh, as we discussed uh, 10 days ago, there is the demand uh, at uh, 1220 level, and then there is the there is the supply, more supply at uh, 1249 level. At the moment, the, uh, the valuable metal is just uh, moving sideways for the day and uh, you can see uh, how significant this level uh, is at 1220 level. Each time I if it is tested, you see a bullish rush and each time uh, the, the, the valuable metal rises uh, just above 1245 level, 40, uh, 44 level, you see a reversal. That's the word that I'm looking for. So that's it so far for today. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, press the like button. Comment below what you want to see from my next analysis. And furthermore, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook page.